AMD have launched their B450 series finally, and right here on the desk, we've got the Gaming ITX from ASRock. This is their Fatality series. It's got two DIMM slots supporting up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, six plus two phase power design, also got USB type C on the back. However, today here, we're gonna take it through all the paces and see if it can handle an eight core 16 threaded 2700X and if it can, up until what overclock. So we're gonna get thermal imaging camera, also gonna test out that onboard audio for you guys, see if all the ports are working and the NVMe as well. Let's get on with the show. So now we just finished running the B450 Gaming ITX through the gauntlet of tests here. And at four gigahertz, the 2700X was running absolutely fine. VRMs were staying under 90 degrees. This was in a 23 degree ambient controlled environment. And then we managed to go into the bus and overclock this to 4.2 gigahertz, which is pretty much the max safe OC for my 2700X without pumping a whole lot of extra voltage and wattage through the CPU itself. Now we are using the H110i cooler from Corsair, does a great job of cooling. And at these levels, the VRMs were going above 110 degrees Celsius. So you could imagine that in a mini ITX case, which is probably what you're gonna do with this motherboard, you will probably not want to run it at 4.2 gigahertz unless you've got an active VRM cooling solution on this motherboard. So we went from 220 watts from the wall power draw to 280 for just 200 extra megahertz. And the v droop itself is about 40 to 50 millivolts when under stress. So moving into the UEFI BIOS, this is where things are really easy and simple to use. If it's your first time overclocking, it'll be absolute breeze in this BIOS. You can change your CPU speed and below that your voltages. And then down below that, you can set in things like XMP profiles, change memory timings. They've also included RGB control from the BIOS itself if you don't wish to install polychrome RGB software. You've got full control over different styles, individual green, red, blue channels, as well as fantastic tuning software where you control the three PWM FAM headers to set different profiles, which you can then save in the BIOS itself. Quickly moving through some other things, we've got USB 3 speeds absolutely fine across all ports, as well as the NVMe port on the back being a Gen 3 X4 solution, showing that with the 970 EVO doing a test in ASSD, show that those speeds are reaching their maximum potential too, which is good news. And then moving on into the audio, where I do do some rigorous testing here, both on the audio out and the mic in. Mic in port seems to have very strong noise reduction, maxing this out at 100 volume and plus 30 dB revealed no noise at all. So it's good if you're a gamer and you don't really care too much about the audio quality, but if you're doing professional recordings, you may wish to look at something else. Moving on to the levels themselves, very interesting here, 99 volume and below, there is no crosstalk leak. Crosstalk remains at around minus 80 decibels, which are really good numbers, though bumping it up to 100 volume did leak in on the right channel, just a little bit of crosstalk. So that problem still does linger there. So in other words, if you're using headphones on this really good audio, then just keep it at 99 volume or below. Moving on into the levels themselves, running a sweep test, the frequency response is phenomenal on this board. It just keeps getting better and better. We're looking at seven hertz and under, only a one decibel drop off, which is phenomenal for onboard audio. So good job on that ASRock. And then the last thing with the audio was there was a little bit of an imbalance between the right and left channel. Right channel was about one and a half decibels stronger, which is a little bit off. Maybe it's just this sample here, but if you do get this motherboard and you do notice that is a little bit off your right channel stronger than your left, then perhaps you can balance that out in Windows Audio or some other audio device manager itself. And here we are with the conclusion of the B450 Gaming ITX from ASRock. And as we saw with those numbers, if you are getting an eight core 16 threaded 2700X, this thing will handle it absolutely fine at four gigahertz. If you're going for an enthusiast overclock around 4.2, then you may wish to get some active VRM cooling, especially if you're dropping it in a mini ITX case where airflow might not be the best. Even at four gigahertz, make sure that you do get some good airflow here because we tested it open air, 23 degrees C ambient here. So I imagine it would get hotter in a mini ITX case. But what we saw with those audio numbers as well, very impressive. They're really just getting it right in terms of features, functionality, and they've moderately priced this board too. And I'll put some links in the description below for you guys. So be sure to check them out if you're interested in this little board. Of course, it'll handle the 2400G or 2200G absolutely fine. You've got a display and HDMI ports out at the back too. And if you enjoyed this one, then be sure to hit that like button and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. The board here, we just... Okay.
Can I just stick a screwdriver in that? Shouldn't get too hot. There we go. All right. Thanks for watching the review, and if you've made it this far, ASRock are teaming up with Tech Air City to give away two of these B450 Gaming RTX motherboards. All you have to do to enter is click on the link in the description below. Completely free to enter, no strings attached, international giveaway. Good luck, I hope you guys win, and I've already said peace out for now, bye, but I'll say it again, peace out for now, bye.